not too many players or teams can say they played on a national championship team. We were the first national uh, championship team in the East, and um, yeah, it's pretty special. One of the guys on the team, Maury Yeomans, uh, he and his brother wrote this. For someone that played on that team, it is, you know, it was really a fun read for me. Well, the, the, they're having this Ernie Davis. Uh, uh, premiere showing of the, this film up in uh, Syracuse and uh, I think it's called The Express and he was noted as the Elmira, he was from Elmira and he was the Elmira Express that was kind of how they played him up and and uh, they're having this premiere showing and all the 59 team, all the players uh, I guess that played when Ernie was in school are invited back and so then we got to play in the Cotton Bowl, which uh, the, is the focus of this film. And we played Texas here. We were ranked one, they were ranked two. And again, we were, I forget how many point underdog, but we were a definite underdog in the game, and, and we beat them pretty good. Uh, Ernie Davis, if you were going to put 100 guys on the wall there and you wanted to pick uh, number one guy on your team, it would be Ernie not only as an athlete and as a player, but as a person. And they just didn't come better. Ernie was a very special guy, not only as a athlete and so forth. Uh, he was special. And uh, you know, I've never, ever heard anyone say anything bad about him. You know, you know as, as players, uh, during the season, we really were not aware of a lot of racial tension at that point. And, the first time we really became aware of it is when we played in the Cotton Bowl because we went down south. And, and uh, we in the regular season, we don't play teams in the south. So there was definite, uh, you know, discrimination when we got into Dex. Uh, we couldn't stay in uh, the main hotels in downtown Dallas. We stayed out in what they called the Mayflower Hotel, which is out on the outskirts of town. During the game, uh, you know, the verbal abuse, uh, abuse that uh, Ernie took was, was, you know, was not very nice. And, and all our African-American players, you know, and they have a big banquet. The, the Cotton Bowl committee has a banquet for both the teams, but our black players weren't allowed to go. And, and so we, um, the whole team didn't go. Uh, Ernie, I tell you, Ernie was... Um, uh, he played in the All-Star game. Back then they had the All-Stars played the winner of the uh, NFL, you know, the, and they had the All-Star game. And when Ernie was to play in the All-Star game, he became sick. And uh, they took tests, and it turned out that he had leukemia. So, And he was drafted by the uh, Browns, so he and uh, uh, Jim Brown would have been in the same backfield, which... You know, we'll never know, but uh, that would have been some backfield, I'll tell you. Uh, then he missed that year, and then the following year, we happened to, uh, at Syracuse, they used to have an alumni game, and we uh, finished their spring practice with the alumni game, and we all went up and played in it. And uh, at the end of the game, there's a banquet for the alumni, and, and um, Ernie was sitting at the same table as Joanne and I, and he's sitting right across the the table from us and he was telling us how how great he felt and he really felt good and he was looking forward to playing that year and, and we got home and two weeks later he died you know, it was it was a shock and it was what a tragic uh, you know he's uh, you know sometimes you wonder why such wonderful people are taken from us at that age you know it's hard to figure those things